Good morning, everyone. It's like about like 6.40. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. I'm just making coffee. I have awoken. I'm just gonna enjoy the morning. And good news, uh, my ex-friend kind of that I left a basket for yesterday reached out last night and she thought giving her a she thought the gift basket was a nice gesture, so... And I know she liked the Jonas Brothers, so I kind of offered her in a text message. She's a lot, she can come if she wants, but she didn't get the message, which is totally fair. But she eventually reached out to me quickly, actually, which is interesting. And now she's hopefully going to be on her way in a few hours here to come see the show with me. Just making coffee right now. I'm getting used to uh, waking up early for the cruise ship. I saw being myself adjusted to watch the sunset because it's my plan on the ship and watch some sets. I was that that'll be earlier, but in the days, but that's okay. Um, they have the delight creamers, a different kind. It's the original. In Canada, you could only find the vanilla. There we go. Morning, the lights on, but it's okay. For the last clip, I guess, I didn't even say goodnight or anything. I just had that all my brain. I didn't realize my shirt was inside out, but hey. Lots has been happening in my life that I haven't vlogged. I mean, I haven't vlogged it because just having once again focusing on my life and everything to do with that and trying to save money for this trip on the cruise in, a, in like two months so i couldn't eat all the cookies last night i was gonna throw them out because i didn't you know there was a feeling i didn't want to take the pumps back in the fridge for my friend i might do a, like a video maybe of a life update current status right now i guess maybe that'll be on the positivity escape video it's just Life is crazy. Um, I know, like, especially this next few months, only for sure. For the cruise, our mom and dad opened something for Christmas. For him to open something on Christmas. My neck hurts. I think because of how I'm sleeping. Nothing else planned for the day. So, obviously, if I got do a few things on the computer, I might film depending on what mood or videos. And then later, I'll be hoping to pick my friend up. I think she's getting on the 11 a.m. bus. 105 to 105 for the concert tonight um i have everything i need i have to figure out the outfit i need in my mind i was thinking my jeans because it would be good night oh my god i was like thinking maybe did i even my jeans that i bought i'll dust them again out. dust them again them again out well we'll see how that goes and then tomorrow obviously i drive home three hours home well after to red deer and then red deer to back where I live, which is like two hours, but the coffee is okay. This is the Delta Hotels coffee. I joined the Marriott Bon Voyage, well, Marriott, joined the Marriott Rewards, and um, we'll see how I like it. The, I was able to check in, obviously, early, uh, which is nice. The room service ordering off of the app was super easy, and obviously it was quick, so about 10 minutes, just for uh, price reduce, reductions as um, I want to stay eventually at the TW Mary one day. There's two um, hotels, uh, there's hotels, two Marriott hotels downtown here in Edmonton. So, and obviously it's good for overseas and everything like that. I'm going to try different probably hotel rewards because I'm going to travel and save money at the same time. So, I didn't really get much done as I wanted to last night. And then life is life, but... I was gonna get coffee, like go out and get coffee. The times here there's lots of coffee shops around, but not here. I'm just gonna quickly sip on it, not just enjoy my morning. So I've just been enjoying my morning, obviously, and it was nice to wake up with the sunset, uh, sun rising, I guess you would say. I'm um, not sunset because that's in the evening. Any hoozles. It's kind of cool. I saw three tour buses yesterday when I was driving into the Delta Hotel parking lot where I'm staying. And ironically, I saw one back in this morning. So I'm assuming they picked up the brothers who were staying last night in the hotel. Because that's probably, they came in yesterday, I'm assuming, because there was three white buses. I know one equipment truck just pulled into the arena. One of the tour buses went in because I think they only can fit so many trucks in the arena. So one bus went in, I'm sure, with all three brothers to do probably sound check and set up equipment. There's the second equipment truck pulling in right now and another one getting ready. What a cool time to experience this. So glad I was able to do it. I'm able to watch and see. But yeah, it's kind of cool and awesome and I'm so excited to go to this concert tonight because for me it's a once in a lifetime thing. I'm excited.
Hey guys, just getting ready. Oh, Ron's are a little bit. Honestly, I came back from the concert pretty late last night and I was exhausted. No, actually, no, sorry. I came back from the concert about like 11 o'clock in the evening and chilled in the room till like mid midnight, 1 a.m. So obviously my friend came with me. We just hung out, talked a little bit and fell asleep. Woke up, I woke up at like 7.30, I think. Not 100% sure on that. I'll look when I do my ResMed C card. Check in with my SD card from my CPEP machine. I'm just very tired. The concert was super, super fun. I love the vlog with some of the video footage with no music, obviously. Finishing up the last half of my key lime pie cookie. For breakfast, not the conducive thing in the world, but our healthiest. But yeah, I'm going home today. I'm gonna have to work tomorrow morning. We'll see merch. I ordered because when we got there, the lines were right here in the building. There's like four merch stations inside and one outside. There are four merch stations and one before we entered security, which was decent, but there were long, long lines, like half an hour until showtime at seven. So I was like, I ordered some merch online. It was like $43 of shipping to ship to Canada, but that's okay. Oops. So yeah, it was $43 of shipping. That's okay. I got a tote and a shirt and then I got that hoodie. I'm going to probably get a beige hoodie, the one that I got for my friend. We only had a two extra large in the size, so that was the last one in um, with that. It's so nice that they had lots of merch still left. I was nervous going into the intermission. The second intermission? Yeah, because I didn't want to do the first one. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. I'm exhausted now, but that's okay. Sang my heart out <clears throat> and enjoyed it, you know? Hey guys, so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog this one. I was gonna put it in two parts. I might still do that um, for shorter vlogs as that gets a lot more views. I sound sick, but I'm not sick. You know what I mean? I was screaming and my voice was getting lost, but that's okay. So the concert was so much fun. I enjoyed it immensely. Exceeded my expectations for the Jonas Brothers. The, the five albums one night tour is something I feel is like a once in a lifetime experience to hear every 60 of their songs of the Jonas Brothers songs to sing and dance along to their music and the decades they've been to made music together you know it was awesome I know that they've done a tour before I think you know what I think this was a really cool experience and just like the airs tour right with Taylor Swift hopefully she comes to Edmonton and I might be able to experience that concert because I totally want to do that yeah so I got home pretty late as I dropped off my friend, we sat and ate lunch at the old spaghetti factory at West Edmonton Mall around noon. And then she went to look at, at the Skechers store. So we looked there. She's just perusing because she's looking for new shoes. Our runners, I guess you'd say. And then we drove to get more Grumbles cookies. And I got some to take home for my mom and dad just because. And then we got gas after that. And then we drove to Starbucks and drove to Red Deer dropped her off and then I drove the two hours and got home around to like close to seven o'clock. Ten to seven last night. That's okay. Being in the dark isn't as bad. It's nerve wracking when it's snowing in wintry conditions. And it is what it is. I just want to tell my parents that I'm talking with my ex friend again. I mean Melissa told her mom or my friend told her mom. So there's that. But anyways, thanks for watching.